Germany's Panzer Divisions, World War II. The Panzer Divisions of the Heer, Waffen-SS, and eventually the Luftwaffe were key to much of German military success during the Second World War. Becoming effective in January of 1920, the Treaty of Versailles banned the German military from owning tanks and training its own armored divisions. To combat this issue, the German armed forces began conducting military exercises using dummy tanks, which were essentially several panels of wood or cardboard, which when mounted to a car, somewhat resembled a tank. As these exercises were being conducted, the secret development of German combat tanks had also begun, and by 1939, seven panzer divisions along with thousands of infantrymen and airmen were ready to invade Poland, the invasion of which signaled the beginning of World War II. The common panzer division of the Second World War consisted of both a tank and motorized infantry element, with additional artillery, anti-tank, engineer, service, and reconnaissance units helping to make up the infantry element of the division. As motorized forces, panzer divisions made use of various tanks and armored transports, such as the famous Tiger I, Panther, and SDKFZ Half-Track. From the invasion of Poland in 1939, to the race for Antwerp during the Battle of the Bulge in 1944, German Panzer Divisions proved to be some of the finest armored forces of World War II. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider supporting this channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see y'all in the next video.